so I'm going to lunch and sometimes during lunch I like to go to this uh, place just to kind of release some stress and everything it's kind of like a stress therapy type of ordeal uh, from my job I decided that today I'm gonna be a little bad let me show you oh my goodness they must be having a sale here so I'm over here at shades of green let's see if I could get up on that shades of green there's their information I'm trying to see if they have some vermiculite because all the big box stores, even another uh, nursery that I go to called Callaway's, they don't have any vermiculite. And I use that in our naked uh, seed starting mix. And it's been kind of hard lately to start some seeds besides buying a seed starting mix. And I know a lot of people use uh, like a potting mix to start their seeds, but I don't feel like buying eight dollars times however many that we're going to need for potting mix uh so if that's just if they don't have it here i'll just make my own uh, naked potting mix and we'll just start some seeds in there uh, but kind of depressed a little bit we lost another duck not sure what happened uh, to her it was a hen this time uh, we tried to bring her in and nurse her in but uh, we just came in on one her and I just saw her croak and just lay out so Very depressing time. So what I normally do to get over my sorrows and stress and things of that nature I buy some plants. Let's see what kind of plants we're gonna buy. Oh my god. I'm about to be in trouble Look at these. I think these yeah, African daisies Look how pretty those are. Oh, might have to get in the cup. These are like the gum starts with a G. Ping pong purple. Let's see. Yeah. Gum Farinia, I guess. I like that. With the African Daisy. I think that would look good. What y'all think? Look at these. These are perennials. Definitely love perennials. Full sun to part sun. Uh -huh. I mean, this place is... Now you see why this is... I haven't even shown y'all the real place. I'm starting to see these a lot lately. These are the... I even see them in the big box store. Not sure what the purpose is of these. Besides this, so it's probably as a filler. Oh, look at the, I think these are violas. What are these? That's a weird thing, but... That kind of look dingy, but I like it. So these are just like everywhere. I think this is the new craze this year. Let's see what those are. Look at these snapdragons. I want to jack some of those. Uh, two to three. These are the lantanas. Two banana lemon zest. These. Peach Latanas. I like those. I mean, I got pots galore. So if you're looking for a different color pot, they will have them. Kind of like those uh, dark purple ones. If they had some yellow ones, I might even get some of those, but they don't. Let's go take a look at their perennial bushes. Here, I think these are the Japanese maples, some type of maple. They have Japanese maples. I would love to have something like this in a little sitting area on our land. Here is where they have a lot of their perennial plants in one gallon and three gallon containers. Uh, right here, they have Society Garlic. Love this. 
I like this Diantis, how tall it gets. I like the way they do their things that tell you what perfect zone that they grow in, the hardiness of them, since they're perennials. Blooms in the fall. And then you got these smaller Dianthus, different colors. Some daisies that then prune back. We got some hyssop. I think I might get some more of these. Ours kind of died down uh, from the frost that we had, but it's supposed to be coming back. Got some tropical milkweed. Ah, goodness gracious. Oh, this one's an annual. Why have they got this in the perennial side? It's not perennial in Frisco. It won't survive our winters. Huh. So what you will probably have to do is mulch it, cut it down and mulch it heavily, about four to six inches. Like cut it down to about right there and mulch it over. So that way you kind of help it from the frost. Some more Latanias, some autumn sage. I think I'm gonna get me some of these think so just got to figure out where I'm going to put it at look how pretty they will get now this is something can't believe they sell in catnip and people will actually buy this because this is like one of the easiest herbs to grow oh wow they got different color yarrow in here and the bees and the flies and other pollinators are just hovering all around them. Hmm. Now, day lilies are a perennial. I think you can also, these are also edible. Um, so, our permaculture coach got us growing some of these in our orchard area around some trees so that'd be interesting and they're coming back 12 to 30 inches tall typically blooms in May through June okay fast growing and low maintenance then you got your bushes and things of that nature that's all through here which you could possibly use as a living fence. Oh, they moved their beehive. Let's see if I can. They got their beehive right there. Like, during the colder months, they did have it back behind that little greenhouse over there. Let's see if they have some vermiculite in here or in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe have some, but not in bulk, the size that I need. So they got this you can use for seat, look like for seedlings and for cuttings. Let's see what this is. This is a big bag of seeds starting mix. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's neat. Oh my god, manure free alfalfa meal, cotton seed meal, sunflower meal, soybeans, and dry cane molasses. I wonder how much that costs. Oh wow, they got bat guano, cotton seed meal, alfalfa meal, tree tone. Old tone, some azalea tone. I think I'm gonna get that. Um, Laura from Garden Answer always starts hers off with this. Ooh, just when I was about to get her bat bag, they got the big bags of everything. <laughs> it is packed here. I Took me forever just to find a shopping cart. This is the busiest I've ever seen this place. 
wish I could see. That's the line going all the way up there. It's deep. Whew. It's nice weather out here too. To make it so, so it's not too, too bad. Let's go to what I came here for. Very depressing. They don't have the Arctic Frost Susuma tree. Satsuma tree. <sighs> they have a regular Arwari, I guess is how you pronounce it. Satsuma. But I want the Arctic Frost because it could get up to, it could withstand up to 10 degrees. So that's the one I was looking for. I found an avocado tree. So not all is lost. We got a poncho avocado. I was looking for a female avocado as well to match it with it. Because what they were saying was you want, you can get a good yield off of just one particular avocado tree. However, if you get two, one's a female, one's a male, you'll get a higher yield. Trying to figure out which one do I want. Decisions, decisions. I'm not sure if this is a good sign on picking avocados, but look like we're going to get some berries already off of that. And an avocado, from what I was told, is actually a a stone fruit. So, I mean, some of the leaves on here aren't not looking good. But I think we could just prune those off. It's one of the better looking ones. Let's check the grass. Grass is not too bad. I probably might let that grow some more. I wonder if I could clone it or propagate it from that. What do y'all think? Is that possible? All right, so I didn't get what I came here for. Uh, but I did get a good, get some good plants. Now, I gotta get, I love you, I'm sorry I spent this much money, plants. And to find out what that is, I have to get something for the missus. And the plant that I'm gonna have to get her is something that she's been asking for for quite some time now. Now, they didn't have it here, but there is another nursery that said they were getting a shipment of some fruit trees last weekend. So maybe they have it. So now I'm at my secret location. The other nursery that's right by the job site. So they got these miniature. These are called teddy bear magnolia plants. They're probably about three to four feet high then they got these Japanese U's I'm not a, too familiar with those I'm not sure what these are oh small little ebony crepe merrow I'm not a fan of crepe merrow because those are invasive plants and they will just take over all right here's some fruit trees Let's see what they have. Some more Japanese maples. I guess those are the things to do. Let's see. We got kefir pear, Asian pears. More Asian pears. Let's see if they got some of the Mrs. tree out here. Oh, wow. Look at this banana tree for 45 bucks. Another avocado, another male, another avocado male. That is nice. Mexican lime. What kind of orange is this? Oh, I keep on finding these. I can't find that frost one. Man, look at these healthy strawberries. Ooh, and they get the elderberry. Uh, some more blackberry. Ooh, I might, I might do this blackberry. Thornless. Ooh, I might do this blackberry. See if they had her plant here, or if I would have bought it at another place, I could get that blackberry. 
But since I don't have any things to be like, hey, I bought some plants. Uh, and then when she'd be like, oh, I can't believe it. Well, I also bought you this. I could take them all back if you want to. And she'd be like, oh, fine, Dan. You better be lucky. But I don't have any guilty, guilty plant to give her now. God, I think I found it. I think I found it. <gasps> Let's see. Yes, they have it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, I got my forgiveness plant. I'm safe. I'm saved, y'all. Thank you, Hype Promotion. You saved my life. Woohoo! Talk about luck and the prayer of God. So I just pulled in and the missus outside doing something. So now I gotta figure out how to sneak these plants out about without her knowing. Wish me luck. Alright, what you been doing? I uh <laughs> Did a fertilizer per gallon, and I fed all of the plants to start everything that we have that has life. And now I'm just going and kind of like soaking the area so that um, they can survive while we're gone. What are you hiding? <laughs> oh, oh! You thought you could put it right back here? You went and got flowers? See what happened with us. They were all sale. <laughs> Is there more? Uh, what else do you have? What? What is that? Explain yourself. Grab those two. No, 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 no. Hurry up so what I can did get, you the get thing. these. No, what did you get these for? For us. Uh, for what area? That we don't have room for because we actually have, we actually have a lot of room. We, we got six and a half acres of room to put all this. Yeah, but we don't have a lot of the soil amendments we need because of the market right now. So why did you buy these right before? <gasps> and you got a tree? It was on sale. How much was? Okay, well that's an avocado. I'm gonna forgive you. Oh. Uh, I. You know what? That's awesome. Hold on. Okay. So I couldn't, I couldn't uh, sneak these past her, but she saw this, and what'd you say? It's an avocado, so I forgive you. Oh, so you're gonna really forgive me off of this other tree, then, right? What other tree? Huh? What tree did you get? It's a fuyu persimmon. Oh, that's so much better than the American one. Oh, that so you like? One. So, do you want me to take these plants back since I Not the avocado and the fuyu. Oh, <laughs> if I got to take one back, I got to take all of them back. Okay, well, I guess we're stuck with all the mixture plants, but I like these two. Okay. <laughs>